The inaugural Shell Helix Ultra Cup takes center stage this Saturday. It's Kaiser Chiefs up against Mamelodi Sundowns. Banale Pigo, what can you expect from this potentially teasingly tantalizing mouth watering encounter? Yeah, it's a good game. I think it was a golden opportunity for Ushel to announce this tournament now that there was no Colin Blake label, so everyone is focused on this tournament. I think it's going to be a very, very good game, especially on the Kaiser Chiefs' perspective. They need the game more than the Sundowns. Sundowns mm -hmm. have played um, Kev on, on Tuesday, so they have tested their players and they've They've started their all their games and preparations for the new season. So for Kaiser Chiefs, they are the ones they've got a new coach and new everything. So they really need this game. What what do you think of this game? Yeah, I think it's a it's, it's a great game. You need to measure yourselves, you know, against other big dogs, you know, yeah. before the new season gets underway. So I think for both teams, it's great for preparing for the new season. But from a Mamelodi -Sun Sundowns perspective, it's going to be a bit tricky for them. They head into it off the back of a 1-0 defeat that they suffered against Togo. Togo. And they're playing again next week, a very crucial game. So they might feel the weekend side against Kaiser Chiefs. Well, it depends how you look at it. They can also, because they, they've only played one game mm -hmm. now in the new season, okay, now after the World Cup, they've only played one game. So they're playing a must-win game against Togo Port next week, Friday. So they can play the usual, uh, usual side just to get them going, just to get the rhythm and all of that. Or they can rest the usual side and feel the weekend side, as you said. So it depends on how they look at it. But if they feel the weekend side, of which I'm expecting them to do, I think they'll be in big, big trouble. But, yeah, Sanders, new signings, Andy Lejali, have you been impressed? Goma also came off the bench. Well, I think the critics of Andy Lejali have been unfair. If you look at the, the game, all over in the world, a Champions League away game is always difficult for any team. So if Sundowns go away to Togo and they lose and everyone's starting to question the, the team without um, Tao and Billiard and all of that and criticizing players like Jali playing his first game in an Astro turf in Togo, I don't think it was going to be easy anyway. So I think it's been unfair, but I think he'll bounce back. Yeah, but I think also, you know, the midfield puzzle is a bit too difficult for Bits of money to solve. Imagine if Mabunda was available for selection. You have Mabunda, you have Jali, you have Manisa, you have Kekana. He doesn't even know who to field. That's why he played three in the middle. And also, you know, they play without Tau and Billiard for the first time in a long time. So the dynamic of the team has to change. That individual brilliance in the final third is now lacking. So I think they'll really suffer. Speaking of Billiard, he's now playing for Kaiser Chiefs and he'll be facing his former side for the first time ever since he left them. Yeah, I think he'll be a key player for Kaiser Chiefs. And this is one of those signings like the PSG Neymar kind of signings where you just stamp your authority and say, OK, I'm ready to fight for bigger things by making that one big signing. So I think that's what Kaiser Chiefs were doing there by signing Billet. And I think he'll be a very, very yeah. key key player in the season. And he'll start off the Saturday. I think Chiefs, they have, they have to impress the new coach. They have everything to fight for. They need the fans to trust them again. So I think they'll go all out this Saturday. I'm not sure of Sundowns. So that's why I'll be backing Chiefs, Chief, Kaiser Chiefs at 2-1. Two, two, mm. Sundowns at 13-10, and 13 to 10, would you take it? Nah, I'm backing Kaiser Chiefs. Because I saw the way Sundowns played without Billet and Dao, I saw that the new signings are still trying to settle in. So the dynamic of the team has to change. The coach has to you know, tweak a few things here and there. On the other side, Kaiser Chiefs, I think they've played very well. They've played the, the, that Maze Cup nice tournament time, yeah. on a muddy turf and they still managed to grind out you know, those results. So I'm expecting Kaiser Chiefs to win this one. Yeah, so you've got Matasela, mm -hmm. who's also like a new signing. Mm -hmm. He's, he'll be playing for the first time. Um, this season he didn't play. So you've got Matlasela and Changase, Billiard and all of that. Do you think they'll combine well? Yeah, I think they'll combine well. And Sundowns defenders, very sloppy, very slow at the back. You know, the likes of um, Nascimento, Arenza. You know, great defenders in terms of reading the game, yeah. but against those pace stri strikers, those pace attackers, I think they'll have their work cut out for them. So it's yeah. going to be so very good for Sundowns. 2 to 1 is a very, two two very one. good price for Kaiser Chiefs. Chiefs. Yeah. yeah. So we're taking the 2 to 1. That's our prediction. What are your thoughts? Leave your comments below and remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. For more soccer betting tips and previews, get yourself a copy of Soccer Betting News for only 10 rand at your nearest Hollywood Bets branch.